What's up guys, my name is Jedith, and Season 4 is literally right around the corner. Depending on when I post this video, it's either coming tomorrow or today. Or if you're watching this in the future, then it's already out. I'm making the video that I make before every patch, every season, going over weak ores that you need to get in preparation for the new season. In the past, I've done a lot of the same weak ores in every video, but in this one in particular, I have a lot of new ones to share with you. So the first obvious one is a dungeon weak ore pack. This is the one that I've been using pretty much throughout the entire expansion. It has a lot of great clean alerts, it does have some sound options that uh, if you want to use, you can just go into the description here and follow the instructions. Super easy to set up. And uh, honestly, this is probably one of the, the best dungeon weak ore packs that I have ever used. Now on the same sort of tone as uh, dungeons, you can get clickable dungeon teleport buttons to quickly use your dungeon teleports to get to uh, these dungeons as you're doing them. And of course, this one now includes all of the original eight dungeons from Dragonflight, and supposedly he's already set it up to work with the War Within. Go figure. So there you go. Get this and you'll be set for the next year. So just to demonstrate what that looks like, you open up your Mythic Plus tab here. It might look different for you if you don't use LVY, but this is the window you're looking for. And you'll see the dungeons listed across the bottom and you could simply just click on them and you'll start using your portal to go to that particular dungeon. Very handy to have. Uh, get this weak aura and it'll do that for you exactly. And you'll have a very easy time getting around. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying this content, if you could do me a solid and subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't already, I'm trying to hit 30,000 subs before the War Within launches. So we have like a couple months to get there. I would greatly appreciate your support. Okay, let's keep moving on. The next obvious weak auras that we need to talk about are the raid weak auras. And again, these ones are from the same guy, Kazizi. I'm going to put links to all three raids, uh, Vault of the Incarnates, Abaris, and um, Amir Drusil down in the description so you can get all three of the uh, individual packages. Do keep in mind though, if you are in a guild that raids, whether it's a you know normal heroic or, or mythic, especially mythic, keep in mind what pack your guild and your raid team in particular is using. It's always the best idea to have everyone on the same page using the same package. So maybe just have a conversation with your guild or, or ask around and just make sure that there isn't a requirement for you on your raid team that you're supposed to be using. Maybe the liquid pack or the echo pack or whatever. But these ones are a good starting place for you if you don't have any at all. Like I said, I'm going to have all three raids in the description of this video. Okay, and the next one, the Havoc Weak Ore Pack. And this one was designed by me and my buddies. And this is what I use exclusively when I'm playing Havoc Demon Hunter. It's this Weak Ore Package right in the middle. So you have your rotational abilities on the top, your utility and your cooldowns on the bottom. You have your Fury Bar, you have your Aura Bar. So anytime you have a little buff rolling, show right there. Pink Bar on the left side is Vengeful Retreat. These orange bars are Fell Rush. The gray one or the white one the bottom left is your interrupt and in the bottom right you have sigil of misery and sigil of flame there's a lot of details i can go into about this package as a whole uh, but i made an entire video on it i'll put a link to that uh, up in the top right corner maybe and you can go watch that video but if you just want to download the weak war pack the link to this will also just be in the description for you to go get and if you are a havoc demon hunter player you're probably also going to want this weak war pack it is the afi plus rage fire alert and this one is crucial to capitalizing on your rage fire and your multiple immolation auras. So what it does is it plays a sound whenever you get a fire inside proc, so a reset on your immolation aura. It also tracks your rage fires down at the bottom. And it also says with an audio cue, don't move when your rage fire is about to explode to make sure that you're not, you know, fell rushing away right as rage fire is popping and you're losing out on damage. So it's a whole like suite of interactions and little weak auras that just help you play your class better and manage your rage fire and immolation auras a little better. Now, if you're a vengeance player or maybe you play vengeance as like a, an off spec type of thing, I have a weak aura pack for that as well. It looks like this. So again, rotational stuff on the top, utility and cooldowns on the bottom. At the top here, you have a soul fragment tracker and you have your fury bar. Then you also have your sigils represented by these blocks. If you want to get this, if you plan on playing Vengeance at all, always a good thing to have and get it in tandem with the Havoc Weak Aura Pack. And now this one. This is one that I have included in all of my preseason videos, and that is the Plaque QT Nameplate Glows. I get asked about this Weak Aura in particular all the time on stream, 
and it does some really cool things when you're in a dungeon. So we'll just look at the pictures here just to give you an idea. It puts things on top of the enemy's nameplates. If you're fighting a mob that is about to cast a frontal or is casting a frontal, it puts a progress bar on top of their head and it says frontal. It does other things like get the debuff, then you have purple glow. That'll glow their nameplates with purple, and that's an important interrupt that you need to get. Turquoise glow is a heal or absorb cast. Yellow glow is a stun knock, grip, or any CC. White glow is a focus target. Um, if there's an enemy or a boss that is casting something that you need to move out of, that'll show that as well. In particular, this was really useful in Waycrest Manor when the uh, Soul Charmers, I believe it is, cast their candles and you need to move them out of the candles. Super useful there. Um, so yeah, this has been updated for season four. Okay, and now this one, Haldu's Dragonflight Helper. So in the past, I have used a week or a called Tama's Dragonflight Helper, um, but I started to use this one and I like this one a lot better. It's a bit more streamlined. The reason you might want to get this, first of all, is because in season four, not only are the raids going to be awakened, world events that relate to those raids are also going to be awakened. Any world events that were in season one, when Vault of the Incarnates is awakened, those world events will also be awakened. Same with Aberyst. If Aberyst is awakened, the researchers on fire are going to be awakened. And those rewards will scale up to an appropriate level that should be beneficial to you. So you might want to start tracking these things again. It is a little cumbersome to have these uh, bars and, and everything on your screen all the time. But while you need them, while they are relevant to you, it's probably worth tracking. You can go into the weak aura and just customize under the custom options exactly what you want to see, what you don't want to see. It, you can get right down to like the very specifics of I want this rare, I don't want this rare. You know, you can do time rifts, all that stuff. So very, very useful to have. It has a lot of customization. So I'm gonna be using this and hopefully, you know, farming the things that I need. If you are working towards the Tyvon mount, the, the, the big dog, the good boy, this will help you with that in an insane amount because you can track all of these things that, that you need to accomplish to go towards that achievement, right? The grand hunts, the primal storms, time rifts, definitely a great weak aura that you should definitely get. Okay, now this one is not a weak aura, but it is an add-on. This is the pre-made groups filter. Now, before we talk about this one, I just want to mention that you won't need this one in probably about a month. Whenever 10.2.7 is coming out, Blizzard is making a lot of UI improvements to the group finder window. It gives you the class color of whoever is in the group currently, so you can see what they have already. Um, if you apply to a group and they decline you, that group, the next time you refresh, will show as red, so you know not to reapply to it. If there is a brand new group that has been put into the list that you haven't seen yet, that will show as green. You can customize exactly what you want to search for. So you can say, okay, I want uh, this dungeon and this dungeon between the levels of this and this. You can customize it like to the T. So you're not sifting through lists and lists and refreshing all the time to see if there's something new. You can just pinpoint exactly what you're looking for. You can get this add on now. It's called pre-made group filters. You won't need it in about a month because Blizzard is just implementing this directly into their UI. But for the time being, go get this add on and it'll make your pugging experience just a little less hellish, we'll say that. Okay, moving on. Now these last two are just kind of little fun ones that I wanted to include. Um, this one in particular, I just found today and I am amazed that nobody made this thing earlier. What this does is when you join a pug group, you hit accept, you get put into the group, above your head, just in, in small text, it'll say exactly the dungeon and the level of the key you just joined. So what this helps with is you know, when you're in queue, you're applying to a bunch of different things. You're, you've applied to like five groups and then suddenly one of them accepts you and you, you're kind of not really paying attention. You just hit accept and you don't know what dungeon, you don't know what key you've just joined. So you have to awkwardly ask in party chat, hey, what what key was this? You won't have to worry about that anymore because this weak aura will actually just uh, put it above your character's head. I'm so surprised nobody made this earlier. This is like mind blowing to me and life changing. And now the final one is the mythic plus keystone wheel so if you play with a group of friends and you get yourself into the common situation of whose key should we run nobody really has a preference we don't know well you can actually just spin the wheel to decide so it scans your group sees what keys they have puts it onto a wheel and then you could spin it and it will randomly select one of those keys you can customize the wheel you can customize the duration that it spins for in this example that i'm showing you now i had it set to five seconds you can go to 10 seconds you can go to a minute you can go to two seconds i don't care what you do you can customize it to be whatever you want 
it also plays some kind of funny little sounds when it spins so that's pretty cool and then it also announces in party chat what it landed on so you know this isn't a a insane week or that's going to change your life but it's kind of fun so again if you found these useful make sure you give this video a like and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel we're trying to hit 30k we're so close thanks for watching guys good luck in season four and i will have many more videos on the way peace